Hello and welcome to our newest video from Shop for Track. Um, yeah, many thanks for uh, your comments and your uh, subscribes on uh, on our channel. Today we have a new tractor. Uh, last time we spoke about a TX1510, and I think this is a good example to uh, show you guys because this is the tractor you want if you want to do some uh, hard work with it. Uh, if you uh, use a tractor with a higher uh, lift uh, uh, capacity. This tractor can do like four or five hundred kilos. Um, also really important, please, uh, uh, yeah, I will tell you this later, but it's really important to have one option on this tractor. So uh, yeah, I will discuss it now and I will show you some details about the tractor and um, yeah, show you around. So this is an Izeki TL2100. It's a refit tractor or how you call it. It's a uh, rebuild tractor. They rebuilt the engine they uh, uh yeah they repainted it and uh, they built a front loader on it so uh, this one is in a really nice condition it has no scratches at all it has been used for like 40 or 50 hours i think we can look into it 40 hours so sometimes the quality from these rebuilt tractors are not perfect this tractor had a problem. Uh, we first found a big problem like the head gasket or something like that because uh, it was leaking water. And after you used it like an hour or so, the water was coming out of the radiator. So at first we thought perhaps the radiator has been broken or is broken, uh, but that was not the problem. Uh, after that we thought, okay, the head gasket is wrong because uh, it's leaking water, it, it makes pressure or something like that, but it didn't. So then we checked, of course, the, uh, the radiator cap. <laughs> now you can see it, the spring has, uh, is lying somewhere here, so <laughs> we don't know where the spring is. But um, yeah, this radiator cap is really broken. So we can solve the, the, the first problem at this moment. We thought, uh, we, we have done this before, so... Um, So I think problem solved. <laughs> so this truck is and again in a really nice condition. But if you can see, I think this cap is like two years old, but this is really bad quality. So now I know for sure uh, this tractor has, uh, has a good radiator cap and we can use it again. I was very happy when the problem with, uh, was solved. So yeah, that was really good. Um, the next thing you always need to check with these tractors is this old cap. So you can see if it is blowing smoke out of here, it says the engine has some under pressure. I don't know exactly how to say it in English, but um, it's, it, the, the piston rings are a little bit um, shot. That's the best word I, I can think of. So then it's time to do something about the engine or to check the compression, etc., etc. So that's one of the, the familiar uh, things of these engines. But this engine is an Isuzu engine and they are really good. It's a rebuilt tractor, so not always the quality is as good as it is, but this engine runs perfect. I will show you later. And now we come to the most important piece of this tractor. If you have a front loader, it's really hard to turn with these things. And um, I don't know if I can show you. Um, it's over here, so here in the front, so you can check it here. It has power steering. And if these tractors don't have power steering, it's an option for these tractors, they don't all have it, then you will have a hard life because steering is, is, is not doable with a, a bucket full of sand. So it's really good to have a power steering. Now I want to show you guys some of the important things of these uh, tractors. This is a joystick from this front loader. If you take it like this, it goes up. Like this, it goes down. And like this, the bucket will go down and like this, it will go up. This tractor has uh, food gas. Um, these are the brakes, of course. And this is the, the handbrake, uh, funny fact. It's uh, retouched with the, with the brake. This is the filler cap for the hydraulic oil. Um, so you can check it. The, the level, I've checked it before uh, with this one. This is the, the, the dashboard from a TL series. All pressure warning. This is for the alternator. If the air filter is stuck and glowing. Hand gas, of course. Ignition. Very important if you 
glow it to the left, this will glow up. Uh, here is a glowing glass, so you can see if this turns red, uh, you know it, the tractor has been glow. Some uh, engines start really easy without glowing, but these tractors really need to uh, glow a bit first. So this is the gearbox. Uh, yeah, it says one, two, three, and reverse. The groups are over here, I will show you later. This is for the lift. Um, yeah, it says up, down. It's only with rebuild tractors that these stickers are on normal. Normally it's in Jap Japanese, so you can't uh, read it. Fun fact about the J Japanese tractors. Most people, uh, people who uh, came to me uh, the last couple of years and asked me about the lights, why they didn't work. These are only reflectors. This is just a plastic piece. There's no a cable behind it. There's no lamp in it so or light in it. It's just plastic. It's a reflector. So the last owner told us some, about some problems this structure had. So for uh, the first example is these parts uh, uh, has been broken off. The other parts also gone. So. That's a little bit the quality of rebuild. Also this, they became the tractor like this. So I've seen this before, so this is how they do it. It's normally with a pen, with a split pen like this. So this is original, but this not. The second problem of this tractor was, and I know exactly what was wrong. Normally it needs a bracket over here and it also uh, uh, attached the, the seal over here. And now they have done it like this because the bracket is not there. So. The custom of the, 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 the last owner used the tractor and the seal came off and all the oil was out of the tractor. So yeah, that was a problem. <laughs> um, he told me they have done it like this. So yeah, this works like for 40 hours. So it's not the biggest problem at, at the moment anymore. Um, we of course will use of rebuild the, the bracket and we will uh, uh, retouch this at the original uh, proper uh, manner. Um, yeah, you can see with this red, red gasket, um, they rebuilt the complete transmission. Um, they rebuilt the seals, so it has no uh, leakage, you know, all at, at the, on the ground. So that's really good. So from this side, uh, these are the, uh, the indicators. This is the light switch. And of course, uh, here you have the four wheel drive. This one says it's four wheel drive off. On. Normally it's in Japanese, so this time you can read it. The PTO, so uh, it has four gears, really good. Normally if I go mowing uh, with a grass mower, I will take it in um, two. It's like 540Es, like uh, it needs not so much RPM, it's, it's still very strong. So the best gear I think to, to use. This is also the low gear and the high gear, so as you can see on the uh, on the uh, fender so this is the valve for the the back lift so if you have a really heavy machine and you want to take it down really slow you can uh, redo this one so it will not go very hard this is of course the clutch and uh, this piece uh, this is how you shut down the tractor and this one will not shut down with the with the key so uh, this is old-fashioned so you need to pull this one out and the tractor will go out here you have the old filler cap. You can see there's a dipstick in it. This old level is still really good. This problem is really common and I've had this problem before. These rebuild tractors are, uh, they, they do the rebuild really fast. So what happened? Most of the people forget to, um, yeah, to take care about the bolts and these are all worn out and also from the front wheel, you can see it a little bit, it's a little bit black here. It's oval and it, yeah, it's, it's not good. So they've redone all the bolts and I think now it's okay, but some of the bolts are missing. So please always check it if you buy a tractor like this or a normal tractor. With a front loader, you will uh, go uh, many times uh, to the uh, forward and backwards really important to also check these ones so if they are loose uh, it will become a real problem uh, another example about the bolts this one is missing this one is missing <laughs> it takes some time to show them all but many of these bolts are missing so yeah really important now i will show you first doing with this with one hand how to start a tractor like this clutch in turn this key to the left it is really warm here, so you don't need to glow it like 10 seconds or so. Now it will start. No 
smoke. It runs really good. And this is why power steering is very important. You can turn it by hand, so that's really good. So people, many thanks for watching uh, this video again. Um, overall, I want to uh, rate this tractor like an eight or a nine. This is a really good tractor. It has power steering. It's very stable. I uh, have worked a lot with these tractors, uh, with sand, with uh, horses. Um, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, I think they are very strong. These engines, Isuzu engines are really good. You have never have any problems with them, only perhaps after uh, several hours, the, the piston rings and things like that. But if you change the oil in time and um, take care about the tractor, uh, I think the problems are um, like zero. So overall, really good tractor. Many thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.